quite a good idea actually. It's not clean how it will be in practice, but uh, uh, off-chain uh, ID is now maybe the most popular in blockchain, so um, to put all the work off-chain and uh, use blockchain just as a settlement layer, um, we see this in uh, Bitcoin, uh, in Lightning Network, and so on and so on. Um, I think, yeah, uh, that's quite a good direction of uh, development, but it's still unclear how it will be in practice. Uh, so, because uh, they may occur quite a lot of problems with uh, this approach. Uh, for example, uh, centralization of these services, uh, these payments. Um, well, uh, we will see. I, I think uh, it's possible, but uh, we, we should check whether it will be it will work or won't. The idea is to make uh, as decentralized uh, blockchain as possible. So it's not uh, uh, even Ethereum Classic development is not leaded by IHK only. There are other companies that work in this direction. Um, they've launched a new client Mantis uh, that is written in Scala, so they have absolutely new written from scratch, uh, full node uh, in Ethereum. That's quite an interesting approach. And uh, as far as I know, there is, oh, you know, IHK have a big uh, state of developers, uh, of researchers and developers, but maybe the main power of IHK is its researchers, so a research team has quite a lot of ideas, it's top level researchers, I, I believe they can create a, a really good infrastructure. Protocol blockchain is quite a you know, general idea if, if you if we speak about blockchain, uh, yeah, I think it can be a game changer, it can change our world, it can change the internet and, and so on. Uh, but it's still um, raw technology and we, we should work a lot to make it much better, to make, it, um, to make it production ready. For now, I more think that it's more experiments. Uh, we can't regard uh, blockchain as something complete. So it's, uh, it's a good experiment, it's a prototype that works quite good, but uh, there are um, a lot of problems uh, we need to solve to, to be ready to use it on every level of our life. Mainly research problems, uh, but uh, also development pro problems. So uh, there are some problems that are solved uh, in papers, so there are papers that can solve uh, some problems, but not implemented anyway yet. Uh, but actually there are even problems that are not solved even on paper, so nobody knows how to make some, prob some blockchains better. The main problem in blockchain is throughput and latency, so uh, it's not ready to mass adaptation now. So it's okay to use when, when, when quite a small community uses a blockchain, but it's uh, not possible to use it as a worldwide payment system. A few months ago, I would tell you that I don't, I don't think that uh, private blockchains are usable. But um, now I think, yeah, there are some use cases for private blockchains. But uh, it shouldn't be an uh, idea like uh, security by obscurity. So we, it should be as secure as open blockchain. But uh, we may use it in private way to increase throughput, for example. If we have some trusted party, for sure we can make things much more efficient, much better, some aspects at least. But um, I don't like approach when uh, people create uh, private blockchains and uh, they tell that we know all participants of blockchain and we do not need security at all here because it's private, we control it and we control it on a lower and something like that. I think um, it's possible to create good private blockchains, but uh, what I see is not good. Uh, I don't like uh, most of examples uh, um, because people are trying to implement uh, a private blockchain because they don't know how to uh, make it secure in open settings. That's quite bad, bad practice.
Well, I, I'm not familiar with uh, Hyperledger. Uh, it's more standard for companies to B2B blockchains, to private blockchains. It's more like a, to create a standard. Uh, it's, it's not the same as Ethereum, for example. Ethereum is open blockchain, it's concrete blockchain. Um, it's not a standard, it's just a, a blockchain. There are a lot of raw ideas in Ethereum, uh, like uh, multi-chain, proof-of-stake, sharding and so on. These ideas may sound good, but uh, for now they are not implemented yet and uh, it's hard to tell whether they are realistic or not. Um, well, I'm waiting for proof of stake on Ethereum for two years, uh, for example. Uh, it's not completed yet. Maybe it will be soon and it will be good, or maybe it won't be good, or maybe it won't be soon. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the same answer is for multi-chain. It's just uh, a name. For now, it's just a name, not a working protocol.